million ways I thought I'd pray The pretty girl, the pretty leg Will fill the empty space I know people say Feelings fade It never seems to change Nothing keeps the thoughts of you away That's why there's somebody Sneaking out my bedroom door Picking all the clothes up off my bedroom floor A temporary fix to what I can't ignore She's just a new heart So I can fly over you So many days, a million ways, I thought I'd pray Pretty girl, the pretty leg, fill the empty space I know people say, feelings fade, it never seems to change Cause I still think about you every day That's why there's somebody sneaking out my bedroom door Picking all the clothes up off my bedroom floor Temporary fix to what I can't ignore And you're just a new heart So I can fly over you of rhythm. So. I know. Use it.
I was running around, running until I found you. Until I found you. Yeah. Oh, I was running around. The living separate life. We'll be together like it's all we know. All we know. No, we don't have to try. We'll be together cause it's all we know. Never have another one night stand. I will never be nobody else's man. Burn through the soles of my favorite shoes. I had a home to the day that I found you. You. I was running around, running until I found you. Until I found you. Until I found you You I was running around Running until I found you Till I found you Yeah uh, I was running around Running around We're live on We Found New Music KX935 Lagoons Only FM You just heard the sweet sounds of Zach Waters in studio thank you so much for coming down we've been looking forward to this for weeks please introduce yourselves and the instruments you play in the band all right i'm zach waters and i am singing i'm the, I'm the singer <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. well you play a lot of other instruments yeah i play too. other stuff too but right now i'm not i'm just drinking water and singing yep all right That's it. Uh, my name is jared and i'm playing the acoustic guitar Come on over here. Oh, man. my name is Matt, and That's I'm playing right. the bass. <laughs> the electric the bass. Electrical bass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, thank you guys for coming down. Let's let's learn a little bit about you. You're from L.A., and uh, yeah. how long have you guys been together, performing, writing, recording music, all that? Um, yes, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, I have been doing Zach, uh, Zach Waters as a solo, solo career thing since uh 2010 i want to say yeah 2010 mm -hmm. um i was in a band before and then um i just kind of decided that i wanted to be a solo artist and uh me and jared have pretty much been writing songs together and and producing stuff together since uh since then since 2010 and uh been playing here with matt has pretty much been there since the beginning as well pretty much 2011 i'd say our first show was at the at the mint. At the mint. <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, about four years. Four years? Yeah. Damn. That's cool. You remember your first show together? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At the All mint. Right. It was at the mint. Speaking of LA venues, you you did a, a residency a few or maybe it was last year at at Spaceland or it's now the Satellite. Uh, exactly. Sorry. And, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, heard good things about that. Quite a few people were talking about you. It was uh, that was f amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we still long for those days back, I guess. It was kind of it was a fun experience. Um the shows were so much fun. Yeah. And especially for a Silver Lake crowd, mm -hmm. it was had a lot of energy. Nice. And people were dancing quite a bit. And yeah. um, you know, we did um crock pots every every Monday and <laughs> we'd so we'd go to sound check <laughs> and then like we wake up I was I was staying at Jared's house at the time, so we'd wake up, we'd go to the market, buy a whole bunch of meat and potatoes and stuff, and then start the crock pot, pot around one or two. Nice. And then uh, so we and then we sound check at like what five or six. Yeah. Come back from sound check at like seven, and then our our food would be ready. Cool. <laughs> so then we'd like have like a really nice like mm -hmm. the whole band and, mm -hmm. and everybody would like have like a really nice dinner, and then we'd go to the show nice. and then we'd play. Well. You know, that sounds great. But you're <laughs> you're, really you're on to bigger and better things now. Hopefully you can still try to keep this tradition alive because you're going on a national tour with Betty Who and a card knock starting in a couple weeks here. Yeah. March 22nd to April 19th. Uh, sold out show at the Troubadour April 1st. Uh, we're huge fans of Betty, card knocks, and uh, you. So we're really looking forward to it. Um, so uh, tell us uh, what it means to you to be on tour with Betty Who. Um. I mean, it's it's really exciting because uh, we, we're all big fans of Betty, 
and that's kind of how the whole thing started was my manager was just was like, yo, did you hear this girl? And so we listened to the music and he just kind of reached out to them very randomly just to be like, hey, we like your music and I don't know, maybe they should do something in the future or something. Yeah. And and uh, he was like, oh, well, Betty's actually a really big fan of Zach. She really loves running around and oh, nice. um, we're actually like booking a tour right now. And Philip was like, all right, well, Perfect. let's do it. So um, yeah, it was, and it's, it's just awesome because we, uh, um, I, I've listened to her EP probably 30 or 40 times. Mm -hmm. um, everything is great about it. The production's amazing. Yeah. Peter Thomas. And um, it's just the songs are amazing and her voice is amazing. And then we went and saw her at the uh, Echo like last couple, a uh, couple, maybe two months ago mm -hmm. or so when she was mm -hmm. here. And that was great. It was the first time I got to meet her too. So it was cool. Very um, cool. So yeah, it means a lot. And Carter Knox ob obviously also is, is really, really great. Yeah, from Brooklyn. That's yeah. right. The Brooklyn connection there. Brooklyn? Yeah, well, we were at that show too, at that Betty Who show. That was a magical show for sure. Oh, you guys were there? Yeah, oh. yeah. A bunch of our uh, We Found a Music group over there. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, so what do you have planned for the tour? You've, you've got just a full set of new material? Yeah, I'm going to be um, playing a lot of lip service material cool. as, 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 as well as some uh, new normal stuff from the my first EP. And then uh, also some covers like, uh, I mean... We do, um, the people that went to the satellite show, we do like a pretty mean pony cover, uh, genuine. Nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That'll be perfect for the Betty Who fans, too. So we'll probably be playing that. And um, also, I do a cover of uh, Maxwell's Pretty Wings, which is like one of my favorite songs of all time. Cool. So we'll be playing that. And then I'm, um, as of right now, I only have one DJ set uh, in, is it Minneapolis? <laughs> Minneapolis. Um, it's a good thing you can see your manager, so he can <laughs> nod, nod to you. <laughs> I know. Uh, so in Minneapolis, playing at the W, um, doing yeah. like a two-hour DJ set there. That'll be sweet. And um, pro possibly some more mm -hmm. as well. So just double, double work. Great. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I heard that you're big in Japan. <laughs> um, yes, we're actually having T-shirts made right now. Yeah. I'd say I'm big in Japan. It's legit, man. <laughs> um, it's your, a thing. Your album is out over there. <laughs> it came out uh, in December, I believe. Over there? Uh, Maybe earlier. September. Okay, September. September. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, you know, you had a big Tower Records push. Yes. Uh, among other things. It tell me about there. Tell me about this phenomenon, this, this success in Japan. Honestly, I have no clue anything about any of it. Um, Tower Records exists there. There's 84 of them. And uh, all of them did, like, these really incredible displays. Like, we're at, like, they cut out pictures of me and like wow. they just went to town with it. And uh, it's crazy. Like from what I understand, I've never been. Um, we're trying to possibly go over there in August. Wow. And um, yeah. but I've never been. And it's just the the, the music culture there is mm -hmm. is so everybody's just loves it. Like people love music and consume it, obviously, very um, voraciously i guess you could say <laughs> um, yeah exactly it's um, a very unique thing so it's, it's cool it's 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 cool we honestly really it's like hard to tell me and jared always talk about it. it's like I, I don't know how many records i've sold over there i don't mm. know anything i just can see what's happening on twitter and instagram and people seem to be kind of responding to it so it seems it's pretty cool awesome yeah so we'll see when we go over there we'll All see right. So you're thinking of going over there this summer, maybe? Yeah, we're trying to make it happen. Cool. Well, let's talk about the tracks. Let's familiarize. Uh, let's get Americans to know your music here. Uh, over You. America. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the first track you played tonight mm -hmm. was Over You, uh, which we love. Tell us a little bit about the track. Um, over You is probably my favorite on the record. Um, and I, I love it because it's super personal. And uh, that's something that I, I kind of always aspire to do with with the songs is, is to make them really really personal and and possibly something that somebody might not talk about, um, you know like everybody kind of goes through the, or I don't know about everybody but a lot of people kind of go through that thing where, you try to fill your time after you break up with somebody that you really really love, and you're kind of, crushed or you're kind of in a bad place, and. After that happens, you kind of just think, well, I just need to hang out with a bunch of chicks or I need to, you know, mm -hmm. and it's, 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 yeah, it's a pretty common thing, but it's not very talked about, I guess, from what I've heard at least in music. So 
I like it for that reason, and I also like it because it has a, an R and B vibe, and that to me is kind of where I come from. So mm. it has it, it has every element that of like Zach Waters. It has like the heavy electro bits, and it also has the very R and B kind of softness to it. Which very I, cool. Which and that's your current single over you. There's yeah. also a music video for it. You mm-hmm. want to talk a little bit about the music video with us. Well, uh, music video was. Um, you know, kind of done by the same people who did the music. Me and me and Jared, you know, wrote and produced the track. And um, Jared also, you know, we collaborated on doing the video. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, um, the girl in the video, actually, I used to work at a catering company with, <laughs> <laughs> with, with actually my manager, Philip, got me that job there. Um, but Haley, the girl in the video, <laughs> the girl in the video, she, um, is one of my like really, really close friends. And I just, I texted her and said, Hey, do you want to do a video? And she like hired all the, all the, the other guys in it and kind of grouped all the, all the actors together. And, and, um, we just, we, sh- we just shot the video, basically me, uh, Zach Kassar, who shoots all of the videos and, um, all of my pictures for the m- m- uh, majority of my pictures and just kind of one of my best friends. And so he shot it. And Jared directed it, and we all kind of just collaborated on um, yeah. on doing that. We just shot it at a good friend of mine, Joseph's house. And um, cool. Yeah, but it took us how many days? Like, that was actually, it took us like four days to shoot that. That's the first uh, video, like, running around we shot in one night. Mm. Same with Skinny Dipping, we shot in one hectic, insane night. So they're slowly getting more sophisticated. I, I guess so. More technical. Yeah. So, cool. the least technical video. it's funny, yeah. It was the least technical <laughs> video, it was really <laughs> just about being time. pretty, but it, 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 it took us four days to shoot it. Sometimes art takes time, man, exactly. So, but it turned out well, and we, we really love it, yeah. So, let's mention we are live on FM right now. So, all you Zach Waters fans, feel free to call in and ask Zach questions 949 715 5936, live up and down the coast, call me. Laguna Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Zach will tell you his deepest, darkest secrets. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, call me. Anyway, so um, <laughs> the the full out full length album, Lip Service. What else can we s- expect from it? Is there an ongoing theme throughout? Um, you know, what other themes are, are involved in this thing? Lip Service. Yeah. Wow, that's a that's a question. Um, the theme is, I think, I, with this, I wanted to release a full body of work because I feel like. Um, the consensus has been sometimes like, oh, it's like, what what exactly is this? You know, mm-hmm. like, what is Zach Waters? Is it like indie or is it like just straight pop? Is it like funk, elect- electronic? Like, what is it? And so I just, I really wanted to tell the whole story that like, it's, it's a bunch of things mm-hmm. and it can be concise and it can be a cohesive unit together. Like a song like Over You doesn't necessarily... If you heard over you, you wouldn't necessarily be like, okay, when you hear Penelope or when you hear uh, $500, it's kind of, they're, they're very different, but it's who I am. You know, there's parts of me that like want to make everybody dance and have a ton of fun. That's like 80%, I'd say, of what the record is and like what I do as an artist, I think. Mm-hmm. And then the other, like Sleeping in My T shirt or Over You or Dear John, which is like another one of my favorites on the record, is, um, I think those kind of just, you know, explain the so- like the the more vulnerable or the more uh, super honest side, I cool. guess. All right. Well, we'll look forward to the full length coming out soon. Yes. So it's just shif- shifting gears a little bit. You're collaborating a lot with with producers recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Fred Falk, Feed Me, Benny Benassi, and uh, let's talk a little bit about um, Madion. Yeah. Uh, the city. Uh, talk about working with Madian on the city and, um, you know, just sort of writing the music and all, all that was involved. Um, that one was pretty simple, actually. Yeah. I was, um, it's a really long story, actually. Um, but me and Jared kind of came on to him really, really long time ago um, before he had put out very much material at all, actually. And we're like, who the hell is this? You know, 15, he was 15, I think, yeah. at the time. He's, he's a 15 man. year old. He's like 19 now, I think. But he was like, who's this 15 year old kid who, uh, you know, is just producing up a storm? So, anyway, we started talking with him and, and stuff. And he, uh, I ended up writing one song with him. And um, it was kind of too pop. So they didn't end up using it. But mm. at the end of the, uh, at the end, like about a year later, he just hit me up 
through email and said, hey, I have this track called The City, mm -hmm. just the instrumental. Um, will you write it? And so it was kind of just through email. I had an idea. Uh, I sent him like a quick verse and he's like, that's too rhythmic. Like try something a little bit slower. And so he has um, his preferences, I guess. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I wrote a different thing and then um, I got stuck on it. And Jared kind of helped me um, finish that that one up, too, actually. And so um, we finished that and just sent it, sent it over to him. And then that was it. Like I I I didn't even the first time I met him was actually at South by two years ago was my first South by nice. actually three years ago. So it was three South Bys ago, technically, because the third one is happening right now. So mm -hmm. um, he was playing at Hype Hotel, and it was literally like a madhouse. It was crazy. Getting, wow. Because awesome. it was like it was like him and Mike Snow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, it was insane. And uh, he played the city finally. Like, I got to hear it live, and it was incredible. Awesome, and we man. finally got to meet. And So, yeah, that was that. And so we, we stay in touch. Like, we email every once in a while and stuff like that. So he's a really, really amazing kid, like, I think he's he's one of my favorite producers still. Yeah, he's got great tracks, man. He made it to number one in Hype Machine and number four in the Billboard dance chart, so that's great exposure for both of you. Yeah, definitely. All right, uh, you're going to have a new Adventure Club track coming mm -hmm. out. Uh, we heard, heard a preview here, so actually we're going to play that in just a second. Uh, tell us a little about this track. Uh, this track actually is really exciting for me because I literally wrote it like I th maybe like five weeks ago. <laughs> So from from writing it to recording it, um, and now it's it's coming out on April second, mm -hmm. and it's like just already circulating and people are already hearing it is like so exciting because usually when you write a song like the Maddie and song was like literally it took after we wrote it it took a year and a half to come out, you know just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and like there's still a bunch of songs I wrote last year that haven't even come out yet, mm -hmm. you know like with all the other like producer dj right. people that i've that i've kind of collaborated with so that's why it's really exciting and also i'm like a i was a huge fan of of adventure club before i got even got on this track so it was really cool to, to work with them and david yeah. solano obviously has been a, around for a really long time so it's it's cool to work with both of them okay so you have a fir your first dance single coming out as well yes uh, oh, yeah. featuring cody i can't caraco caraco mm -hmm. out of my head uh talk about that for us um yeah, I actually totally forgot about that until you mentioned yeah. it. <laughs> um, Let's see, produced on your own. Yeah, um, I. The thing is, is that a lot of these dance songs that I have done, or a lot of these collaborations I do, are co co productions. Um, I'm either like playing on things or doing the track or whatever. Yeah. But if it says featuring Zach Waters, it's always people are just gonna assume that it's because I'm singing it. You know, so if I've co-produced it and sang on it and it mm -hmm. says featuring Zach Waters, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, well, he sang on it. That's why he's featured. Um, and production to me is is almost, sometimes it's more important to me. I find myself, like we were listening to Michael Jackson on the way here. And I'm, I, I saw myself because I'm not listening to his voice at all. I'm listening to the track. Right. And I'm like, oh, man, like listen to all that space, like Quincy put in that track. And it's just incredible. And so that's always, that's, kind of the first thing that I started doing when I was like 16 or 15 or 16 was I started, you know, making tracks. I was trying to make like hip hop tracks and stuff like that. But it's, it's always been fascinating to me and it's something that I feel like is, is really important to me. So with dance music, obviously um, I feel like it was important for me to put out some songs that I'm not singing on. And so my friend Cody, who um, we actually went to high school together and right. she's, an insane writer and cool. uh, singer. And so I had, I kind of just sent it to her and said, Hey, like, would you want to work on this? And so she said, yeah. And I just said, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to have any input mm -hmm. on the top line, like on the, on the lyrics or melody, just do whatever you want to do with it. And um, yeah. And All that right. was, that was kind of that. So I'm really excited about that it's one. A new too. direction for you. That's cool. Yeah. It's kind of right. like a new little, it's a new little beast for me. Cool. We'll look for that on April 23rd. You already have an exact date on Eskimo Records. Is that is that the date? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even Lining know. it out here. All cool. right. Cool. So we'll look forward to an album release here in the U.S. eventually. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yes. And then uh, some, some summer plans, hopefully. Definitely a lot of summer plans. Some, we, some shows uh, coming up after the Betty Who tour. Oh, we're working on something right now. I'm not going to tell you. All right. Well. Let me know when you can. You'll be the first, one of the first. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Via, via Twitter.
All right. That's Sounds how good. our relationship started. <laughs> exactly. That's right. It is. Well, uh, <laughs> so we're looking forward to your tour with Betty and the live, uh, the full length. Where can people find your music? Um, Japan. Mm hmm. On the radio in Japan it. and in Laguna <laughs> Beach. And Laguna Beach in Japan. My two mainstays. Um, no, we got um, lip services on Spotify, uh, SoundCloud. I post a lot of stuff on SoundCloud. And uh, I mean, where else do people go for music? iTunes? Does that, does that exist? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, your record's not on iTunes. It's not. Um, I have, uh, we'll overuse on iTunes. Okay. Um, so cool. all, the, all the usual suspects, pretty right. much. SoundCloud, iTunes, Over you Spotify. Or, yeah. Come check you out live. Do you have any, you know? CDs you're selling or whatever. Uh, we did a limited <laughs> number, actually. The, okay, so Spotify is only available in the U.S. on. Oh, sorry, my rec lip service is only available on Spotify in the U.S. But we did 500 copies um, of lip service oh, that we're cool. going to be selling on the road. Oh, there you go. So if you can make it to a show, um, then you should try and get one. Get a limited edition copy of lip service. Cool. Yes. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming into the studio and, and playing for us. You can come back anytime, of course, ah. and, and we'll look forward to the full length coming out soon. All right, let's thank go you. into a couple more tracks. And uh, let's see. I think you're going to start here with $500 mm. on KX935, Laguna's only FM. We found new music with Zach Waters. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we started together. No, 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 no. Okay, I was just getting the key. Oh, yeah, you go. <laughs> Nine to five, oh, every day I've been trying to survive, oh, no time to play Instead of Beverly Hills, yeah, we rock with Cedar It's like a couple of pills, oh, I'm just trying to feed ya You don't seem to mind, no, my lonely wallet You don't care for why, for all the money in my pockets You don't spend your time Worrying about what they think You so looking fine Doing laundry in the sink Yeah, hey When it comes to love We have so much And there's no one Take it away Though we had it rough No matter what Your love stays the same I only got $500 to my the bank working the double just to make some extra change it's just a matter of time before they repossess my place cause I only got five hundred dollars to my name and a couple of weeks before the next time I get paid I'll make a deal with the devil just to settle up today but even after they have taken everything your love Our pretentious after party With no invite but We drink of their Bacardi huh. And as we dance You put your arms around me And you whisper Not that you don't have a lot But you can keep me warm Each and every night When it comes to love We have so much And there's no one Take it away I only got $500 to my name And I double about $600 to the bank I'm working the double just to make some extra change It's just a matter of time before they repossess my place When I only got $500 to my name And a couple of weeks before the next time I get paid I'll make a deal with the devil just to sell
dollars to the bank Working the double just to make some extra change It's just a matter of time before they repossess my place yeah. When I only got $500 TNT. The way she moves, the way she brushes through her hair, the way she kisses me, leave me standing there. She's so mysterious in all sexy ways. She got me delirious, believe me when I say. Here in this moment, we're taking off Just like a rocket with a bang Baby, don't just stop Oh, she just like TNT When loving me, she sucks me off until I explode No, I don't mind if she's a freak She's the one for me A Roman Kindle and Stiletto Well, my heart beats faster Whisper in my name If I get butterflies You're the one to blame You're unforgettable Your beauty makes a scene The only colors And my only fantasy Here in this Hey, singing on With a pain, baby Don't just stop Oh, hey, we'll see just like T And T when Loving me, she sets me off And says no, I don't mind if she's a free Well, she's the one for me Oh, Roman Candle is a lato Come on, baby, light my view ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, We got nothing but love to do Baby, just kick off your shoes Oh, yeah Got nothing but love to do Like TNT when loving me, she sets me off until I explode. No, I don't mind if she's a free, she's a one for me. Oh, broom and candle is a lantern. Hey, was she just like TNT? Well, come on now. Hey, no, I don't mind if she's a free, cause she's a one for me. All right, thank you guys so much for coming in tonight. Thank you. And playing for great tracks for us. We'll see you at the Troubadour on April 1st. Yes. Thanks for having us. All right, man. Thank you.